everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to go over all of the books that I plan on reading in 2023. I'm very ambitious. I know that I'm not going to get through all of these, but I have decided I've been um, inspired by Chandler over on her booktube channel that I watch where she went through in 2022 all of her physical books that she owned um, but hadn't read. She was reading through them, trying to clear out her bookshelves, you know, keep what she really wanted and get rid of them. And I know she didn't get through all of them, but she did get through a big chunk of them. And that inspired me quite a bit to clear out my bookshelves, um, get through some of the physical books books that I own that either I've owned for years and just have never gravitated towards or books that I've gotten from book boxes that I haven't even managed to read. So I plan on doing that. I will link her, link her channel below um, to kind of, you know, if you want to reference that and see what she had done for that. Um, but basically, let's get through this. I'm going to put in the uh, title of this video, how many books that I'm putting on my 2023 TBR. Will I get through all of them? I guess we'll see at the end of the year. Um, I do have my husband here helping me who's not going to be on video. So if you hear him walking around, that is why. Because he's bringing me stack after stack because there is quite a few. Um, but let's just get into this. I'm not going to go into details of what these books are about because to be quite honest, I don't even know half of them um, anymore because I've owned them for so long. Um, but we'll just get right into it. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe subscribe. Uh, check my description below. You can follow me on Instagram or Goodreads um, or just leave me a comment on any books that you see here that I should read first or prioritize in 2023. So here we go. We have Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian. We have Priest by Sierra Simone. Um, Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. I think I got it out of a book box. We have Ledge by Stacey McGowan. Um, Order of Scorpions by Ivy Asher. We then have uh, The Cursed Crown by Alexi Blake and Ruled by Blood by Mae Sage. Um, the Fine Print by Lauren Asher. The Beautiful by Renee and Dye. And day um, when the stars come out by Ronnie Davis uh, sword in the stars by who is it Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy and then the in-between by Mark Klein and then let me grab this stack here <laughs> okay my lady Jane uh, I guess it's by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. And then you have My Plain Jane by the same authors. Uh, Wonder Woman by uh, Lee Bardugo. I want to read the three books that uh, Marie Lou, Lee Bardugo, and Sarah J. Mass had wrote. Um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind by um, Steven Spielberg. The Crown of Embers, I have the second book on here on my shelf. I just wanted to pull down the first one, but it's by Ray Carson. And then Hidden Kingdom by Amanda Hawking. And then we have some of these books are going to be like historical fictions or, you know, things like that because I kind of like history in a way. You have The Winter King by Bernard Cornwell and also Excalibur. Uh, the Templars by Dan Jones. The Kennedy Brothers by Richard Mahoney. I'm really kind of into the JFK thing. When the Sky Fell on Splendor by Emily Henry. And then I have already read these, actually. <laughs> and then I wasn't going to show you that because I had already read them, so I'm not putting them on my TBR. Uh, Dan Brown by... Uh, it wrote Inferno. I think this might be in the same world as the Da Vinci Code. Um, then you have Diana by Andrew Morton, which is kind of like a biography about her, like in her own words. And then you have The Royals by Kitty Kelly. I don't know if you can see a theme here. The Children of Henry VIII by Allison Weir. Uh, War of the Roses by Dan Jones. 
and also the Plantagenets by Dan Jones. And then I have some of these that I had bought for my husband, but I thought, well, why not? Let's just go ahead and read them. You have The First Conspiracy by Brad Meltzer, and then you also have The Lincoln Conspiracy by Brad Meltzer, and then Killing Kennedy by Bill O'Reilly. I know he's a controversial uh, political figure. Um, and then you have The President is Missing by Bill Clinton and James Patterson. And then you have Mary, Queen of Scots by Alison Weir. We're getting through the historicals pretty early. I know that you probably uh, don't care about those. Um, the Supernaturalist by Eon Colfer. It's a pretty thin book. That's the reason why I kept it on here, because I figured I could get through it rather quickly if I didn't like it. Um, let's see. Fairy Wars by Herbie Brennan. There's a lot of these I don't even remember getting. Um, Dividing Eden by Joel, Joel Charbonneau, and then These Broken Stars by Annie, Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Immortal Beloved, I have the second one as well on my shelf, but I only wanted to pull down the first one, but it's by Kate Tiernan. And then we have The Lover Lust bind up of the is it a duology or a trilogy? Um, anyway, it's a bind up of them by Rachel Brownell. Um, Something That Could Last by Ashley Cade. Some of these I got at that Authors in the Bluegrass that I had went to. Um, the Games We Play by Katie Ray. Uh, the Shatter Me series. I own all of them, but I just wanted to pull the first book down by Tahira Mafi. Uh, Forevermore by Cindy Miles. Eyes on Me by Sarah Kate. And then, of course, Four by Sarah Kate and Rachel Lee. And then Delicate by Sarah Kate. And then I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy that I haven't even read this yet, but The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I had gotten the Illumicrate Special Edition. The Melody and the Master by Sarah M. Craddett. I have read this book, but I want to reread it because I don't remember it, but it was The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And then The Immortality Thief by Taryn Hunt. And then we have Remind Me by Anne Marie Walker and Amy Rogers. Uh, Tony by Calypso Masters. And then we have Falling for Him by Amy Stevens. Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I can't wait to actually um, read that. And then Ruthless Letters by M.L. Philpitt. Uh, Kaleidoscope by Mindy Hayes. Um, I want to get the rest of the series if it's good. I met her at Authors in the Bluegrass. And then The Reclaim Kingdom by Dana Clare. Uh, Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. Uh, Say Yes by Lucia Franco, The Balance series, the first book by Lucia Franco, and then also Hush Hush by Lucia Franco. Met her, and she is wonderful. Uh, Angel, Fall, Angel Fall by Susan E. Um, I own all of the books, the three books in the series, but I only pulled the first one down. Um, the Lost Legends by Kate Marie. And then we have Bound by Honor by Rose Sarton. Haven by Mary Lindsay. I own Havoc as well, which is the second book. Um, then you have Halo by Alexandra Adornetto. I don't even remember getting this book. And then you have Blood by Moonlight by Aaron Beatty. This was a special edition that came in a box. And then also Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am still getting over my sickness that I had. I don't know if you heard him or not. Uh, the Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. And then, this is a new one that I just got, The Lost City of Chances by Adrian Tchaikovsky. That came from Goldsboro. The Reunion by Kayla Olson. Um, Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. I do own Ninth House. It is somewhere in this stack. 
So I'll be putting those together. I own the four books of the Crave series, um, but I only pulled the first one down. Um, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, I own all three of these as well. Um, the Cloisters by Katie Hayes. And then The Wilder Women by Ruth Emmy Lang. This one I'm really excited for. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. It was the Goodreads book of the year, I think, last year. And then I own the whole trilogy of Discovery of Witches. I think this is the UK um, version, and I had gotten them whenever I saw them, and I haven't read them. So definitely looking for that. And then we have A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. Um, oh, back to some historicals. The House of Kennedy by James Patterson. Um, A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. Uh, Princess of Souls by Alexandra Christo. I really kind of like this version. I really like that green and orange on it. Um, Justice and Magic by Kai Vin. Uh, Circe by Madeline Miller. I own one, two, three, four, five. All six books of the Iron King series by Julie Kawaga. Um, I was not pulling all of them down. Uh, Violet Made of Thorns by Jenna Chen. And then I own the three books by Olivia Wildenstein. It is her um, Angels of Elysium series. And then I own all four or five books of this, Fallen by Lauren Kate. Some of these are some oldies, okay, that I haven't gotten to. Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose. Nether Nethercott, and then The Dark Window by Rachel Gillig, and then you have, I have all five books of the Air Awakened series by Elise Kova that I need to read. I read these before. I don't remember anything about them. I kind of remember, but I love her writing, so I'm just going to read them again, but it is the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa. And then The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. And then also Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chapeco. Some of these I've gotten recently. And so I think I'm going to prioritize some of the older books first rather than getting through some of the newer books. Um, another author that I love, which is Casey Bond, I have When Wishes Bleed, uh, Things That Should Be Buried. And then with Shield and Ink and Bone by her. I know that I have Gravebriar in here somewhere. I have read Gravebriar before, but I don't remember the story. So I did add it to my TBR just to kind of refresh my memory. Because if it doesn't impact me anymore like it did before, then I don't have to worry about keeping it. And that's the whole point of this is to get rid of some books. Um, there are six books in this series, but A Shade of Vampire by Bella Forrest. I picked it up at a library thing, and I don't even remember why. Um, Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. And then I got this out of a Goodreads thing. It's uh, Venus Don't Go There by Michael Santini. I think it's a biblical one. Um, to Carve a Fay Heart by Tasonia Odette. Sounds kind of interesting. Alice and the Dagger, I believe. Ashley McCleo. And then Ivy and Bone by R.L. Perez. No. No, I need those back. Okay. Um, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. My sweet husband. Being so great. Um, I got these because I am part of Nikki St. Crow's Patreon, but there is the Never King and the Dark One. Look how gorgeous these are. Absolutely stunning. Um, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. This is a stunning edition as well. Cruel Illusions by Margie Fuston. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then some of these on here, I think I've read some of these. We're just going to reread them. Get them off my shelves if I need to. What Lies Beyond the Veil by Harper L. Woods. Uh, Dark Prince by Michelle Hercules. Um, I have Bright Heart. And then I also have Fireheart back here um, by Emma Hamm. 
and then also the North Wind. This was a really gorgeous edition by Alexandria Warwick. I think I tried out um, one of those book boxes, Once Upon a Book Box, I think, where they give you a box and you, as you're reading, they have little notes in there whenever you open some of the things. So it corresponds with the story. It was pretty neat. Autumn's Tithe by Hannah Parker. And then... Shadow in the Glass by J. 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 Harwood. Um, this Woven Kingdom by Tahara Mafi. Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Bannon. And then I have the, the Cat and Mouse Duet, which is Hunting and Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I met her at um, Authors in the Bluegrass. She is so sweet. Love her. Court of Dragons by Frost K. And then King of Battle and Blood by Scarlet St. Clair. Our Crooked Hearts by Melissa Albert. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Um, Book of Night by Holly Black. And then Legend Born by Tracy Dion. And then we have The Hollow by Jessica Verde. I don't know if this is like a bind up of many different books or just one book, but House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin Craig. And then Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kimmerer. The Heart Forger by Rin Chupeco. And then here's another one, Batman by Marie Lu. I do own... Um, and I didn't get it down, but it is Soul Walker, I think is what it's called, by Sarah J. Mass or Soul Stealer. Um, An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. The Forbidden Queen by Anne O'Brien. Imperfect by Dee Dee Larson. I read the first one, which is called Perfect, and I haven't gotten to the second one, and I'm... Probably not going to remember the first one, so I'm going to have to reread it. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I've heard that that book, that that trilogy is really good. I just haven't gotten to it. Um, when You Were Mine by Rebecca Surley. And then, of course, another H.D. Carlton, Does It Hurt? Um, From Salt to Sky by Adrian Lee. And then Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. This is a really stunning paperback edition. Cinder and Glass by Melissa Dela Cruz. And then Best Laid Plans by Cameron Lund. Um, I know I've had that on my TBR for quite a while. So I'm hoping I get to that pretty soon. Um, a Broken Blade by Melissa Blair. Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. This was a Book of the Month edition. Here's Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. So I need to put that together with Hellbent. The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn. Uh, Darling Girl by Liz Mikowski. I'm probably butchering some of these names. Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rindell. Uh, the Dating Plan by Sarah Deze. When We Were Vikings by Andrew David MacDonald. On Shantae by Gita Trelise. I Remember You by Kathleen Davitt Bell. Um, I have read the first one of this, but it's the bind up that I met with Michaela Smeltzer. I got to meet her at Authors in the Bluegrass, but I got her a bind up of The Confidence and Resurrection of Wildflowers. I thought the orange was stunning, and as I go back and read The Confidence of Wildflowers, I can go right into The Resurrection. So I'm pretty excited for that. Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. I do own all three books as well. I just grabbed the first one down. Um, Intended Bondmates by D. Liber. I think I won this in a Goodreads giveaway. And then another really thin one is If You Only Knew by Chelsea Klein. 
you have that and then you have craving by helen hart i love her um follow me darkly series so i decided to give her still brothers uh series a try gallant by ve schwab and then destined by mila stellen uh haven fall by sarah holland under the Milky Way by Vanessa Barneveld. And then we have Tidelands by Philippa Gregory. Um, Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. I've heard not some good things. I actually think Chandler just went back and read this and DNF'd it. I could be wrong, but I think she did. So now I have no hope for this book, but we're going to try. Um, Remember Me by Christopher Pike. It ha does have three books in one, so it is a bind up of that. The Darkening by Sonia Mara, stunning edition. Um, Hunt the Stars by Jesse Mihalik. Fatal Throne. Who is it by? It just says that it's by the wives of Henry VIII Tell All, so don't know who that's by. Emily and the Tudor King by Natalie Murray. I just thought that this would be pretty neat to read. I'm a big Tudor fan, if you haven't noticed. The Raven and the Rush by Sarah M. Craddit. This one I'm really excited for. My husband bought it for me whenever we went to Lexington. The Skeleton King by Charity B. Pretty excited for that one. Storybound by Emily McKay. And then... A Trial of Sorcerers by Elise Kova. Elise Kova's kind of hit or miss for me. I did love her other, um, like one of her books in her other series, but I haven't read The Air Awakens or that one. And then we have Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Um, he's also hit or miss for me. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. I have not read this yet. I know quite a bit of people have. I haven't, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Secrets of Lizzie Borden by Brandy Purdy. Um, I think this is a thriller, and I don't really read thrillers. The Titanic Secret by Clive Cussler. Um, Ghost Hunters by Ed and Lorraine Warren. So didn't know that they made some books. I was pretty excited for that. Um, this is the second book. I do own the first book, but I've already read it. Um, but this is The Western Passage Part 2, The Arrival by G. DiCarlo. If you like um, vampire dystopian um, books that don't really have like romance in them, um, definitely pick up the first one. It was really, really good. And I need to get to the second one. Um, River of Shadows by Karina Halley. I've heard mixed reviews on that one as well. A Forgery of Roses by Jessica Olsen. Um, Let the Journey Begin by India Adams. Um, India or Adams. I don't know if you can get this book anywhere. It's a bind up of four novellas and I got it at Authors in the Bluegrass. So I don't know if you can get that, but it does have four books on there. So you can pause if you want to read which ones they are. It's um, Hostile Illusions, The Girl Without Hands, Flame to the Heart, and Blue Waters. Those are all novellas, like starter books for her series. Um, you have The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Um, Belladonna by Adeline Grace. Um, the Shadow series by T.M. Hart. I do own all four of these books, but I only wanted to grab one of them down. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Um, this is a trilogy, Witchmark by C.L. Polk. I don't even know if this is the first book. I own all three books. We'll see how those go. This is a five book series of two authors that, you know, worked together. Um, Blossoms and Steel by Mindy Michelle. It is two different authors um, that wrote this book together. And then also Paper Planes by Mindy Michelle as well. And then Savage Lands by uh, Stacey Marie Brown. I have not, you know, read that series yet. Also her Crown and Light series. Darkness of Light, and then also City in Embers are all the ones that I own by her. 
uh, Supernaturally by Kirsten White. I own three of these books. I don't know if that's all of them or not, but I do own three. So hopefully I can get through those. I think I own like five books of this series as well. It's called Shadow Falls by C.C. Hunter. This is a bind up of book one and two, and then I have others that are all like just the single books. Um, S Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Um, from the Wreckage by Michelle G. Miller. She is one of the authors that co-wrote Paper Planes and um, The Blossoms and Steel. Uh, Roar by Cora Carmack. Um, I think that's a really old book. I want to read the Will of Time series, the sequ the prequel. Uh, it's the new New Spring, the novel by Robert Jordan. Pretty excited. Did you know that? After Robert Jordan passed away, uh, if you like Brandon Sanderson, he finished out his Will of Time series for him from his notes. So you'll see a change in writing style. But if you love Brandon Sanderson, then read the Will of Time because he finished it for Robert, Robert Jordan after he passed. Um, Neon Gods by Katie Robert. I own... Neon Gods, Wicked Beauty, and um, Electric Idol, but I only picked up the first one. The Winner's Curse Trilogy, I do own all three of these as well by Maria Rudkowski. Again, only grabbed one of them. Uh, Nora Roberts' The Awakening, I own all three of these as well. It's a trilogy and finished. Um, I actually had just gotten the third one in, um, but I plan on reading those. And then now I'm going to have to move you really quick. I'm going to move you really quick, so I'm going to pause you. I know you're at a weird angle, but uh, the other stack was quite big, and this stack is not quite big, so we'll just quickly get through the last stack. So we have Abandoned by Meg Cabot. I own two of these books in this series. Uh, Praise by Sarah Kate. We have the three books that Rachel Lee wrote, which is Striker, Vandal, and Heathen. And then here's my other Casey Bond, Grave Briar. This is the one that I have read, but I am going to reread because I don't quite remember um, much of it. The Deal by L. Kennedy. Uh, Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey. Um, Enchanted by Aletha Contis. Um, Wither by Lauren DeStofano. The Queen's Assassin by Melissa Dela Cruz. Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar. Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed. Some of these are books that I got um, out of book boxes that I need to read and either get rid of or keep. Here's the second book that I read or that I want to read by Elise Kova. The first one is A Deal with the Elf King, the King which I did read. And then this one is Dance with the Fae Prince. Um, this Vicious Grace by Emily Theed. Um, I got these because Becca in the books uh, is doing a, um, I don't know, like a read of this world. And so it's called The Law Read Along or The Law Along is what they're calling it. So The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. Um, those are grimdark books. So if you're not really into grimdark, I probably wouldn't recommend that. When the Stars Come Out by Scarlet St. Clair. You have The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. Uh, Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. And then Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I feel like I had some mass market paperbacks that I didn't um, see. Oh, the husband found them. Okay, I have a lot of J.R. Ward here uh, that I wanted to kind of read. Um, we have Crave from her Fallen Angels series. And then we have Lover Avenged, Lover Unbound, Lover Awakened. <laughs> Lover Revealed, and then I also have Lover Eternal and also Dark Lover, which I think is the first book in the Dark Brotherhood Dagger series. Um, Romeo by Elise Title. If you have been around watching any of my videos, you'll know that I got this at the bookstore, and um, I don't know if there's hope for it. So, uh, Kingdom of Dreams by Judith McNaught. Fantasy Lover by Sherilyn Kenyon, and also Night Pleasures by Sherilyn Kenyon. And then I also have Day of the Dragon, 
by Katie McAllister, and then also The Kingdom by Amanda Stevens. And then let me grab to you um, a stack of books that I have over there um, that are my current, like, need to read immediately books, but I haven't read them. So I'm going to get those. I know that I've been trying to go through them pr rather quickly, but we will see. I... You'll see my wrap, my January wrap up that I read the first book in this series, but there should be more over there. There is Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. Don't Hate the Player by Alexis Ned. This book I really wanted to read because it's about two gamers that live in the gaming world and um, they fall in love. And that is how me and my husband met. So just kind of hits home. Uh, Hooked by Emily McIntyre, uh, The Words by A. Jade. Also, I am going to start the Saga series, which is also inspired by Becca and the books. Um, A Thousand Heartbeats by Kira Cass. I'm a Kira Cass fan, so no, there's not a lot of people out there that are, but I am. Imperfect Angel by Christy Barth. Funny You Should Ask by Alessa Sussman. Um, Embolden, the second book in that series that I've been reading, and The Liar's Crown by Abigail Owen. I got this from the publisher as a finished copy, so I need to get that read. Um, I don't know if there's any other books or not that I need to read, um, but other than that, I think that is all of my 2023 TBR. So, um, I plan on hopefully making a huge dent in these. We shall see on that. Uh, we will reevaluate at the end of December or beginning of January next year. Um, but aside from that, um, look forward to my next video because some of these actually might go in the unhaul pile as I'm putting them back on my shelf. I may think, you know, I'm really not going to read that or even though I haven't read it, it's not very intriguing, but I am going to make a book on haul um, because it is the beginning of the year. I want to um, get rid of a lot of books, you know, get ready for the new year whenever I buy some new ones. So definitely stick around for that. But again, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.